Hey everybody. So with this hat again, um, if you've seen my other Harry Potter movie review for the first seven, um, this is a review for Harry Potter 7 Part 2 or Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, finally got around to seeing it and um, well let's go with this review. Uh, so I finally saw the movie like I said and um, I gotta say people, this this movie is not only the best Harry Potter film, I would go so far as to say it's the best film of 2011 thus far. I mean, it's... I can't name another movie that will come out this year or has come out so far this year where we really look back at the past 10 years of cinema and, you know, we see Harry Potter. I mean, whether you saw the films or not back in the day, I mean, they're there, they happened... They're a part of our lives. I mean, we got the uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios. We got, um, you know, the books, the movies. We have video games, merchandise, school supplies, you name it. There's a Harry Potter reference of it somehow. Um, and I really feel that this film was quite a celebration of that. I mean, not only does this movie wrap up the Harry Potter story really well, it... Um, it just shows how much he's become a part of our lives over the years. I mean, the books came out many, many years ago, and now they're all movies, and now they're all books. I mean, we got the whole story down now. Whether you like your stories in books or in movies, we have the whole story down now. I mean, we have, we know what his outcome is. We know what, you know, what happened to the other characters. I mean, Almost all the answers you might have about Harry Potter are answered in this. I mean, this this movie was that well done. Um, so now on to the actual movie. Um, this film was a perfect blend, and I know a lot, a lot of you will probably agree with me about this, and based on what I've read on both critic and um, viewers alike, um, who aren't critics, um, or, you know, just moviegoers in general, this film was just so perfect in both story and action. I mean, this wasn't a movie where it was just half story, half action. I mean, the action and the story go so well together, you almost feel like it was meant to be this way. I mean, this film, and even, you know, people, I, I understand, you know, if, if you get mad if, you know, one or two paragraphs of a book are scratched out for a movie, and you know what? Um, like I was reading a good friend of mine's review recently, you know, books are books and movies are movies. And I really felt because Deathly Hallows was a two-part movie event, they covered the whole book. And I read the book, so I can say that. Um, and, you know, I understand they can't say, oh, well, they skip paragraph this, this, and this on this page. This film, I mean, if you really look at this, Anybody who could have perfectly adapted this story um, to the screen, this is the way to do it. I mean, David Yates just perfectly mastered what Deathly Hallows was as a book and what it'd be like if it was a perfect film. And I really feel that he was able to accomplish that, especially with this film. Um, I think even if you didn't like a certain installment in Harry Potter, this film helps you respect each and every installment. I mean... We got the sword and Gryffindor back. Uh, the Sorcerer's Stone was referenced. Um, the birth of Harry, how he got the lightning bolt um, scar on his head, was talked about more. Um, like if you have questions about Severus Snape or the Weasleys or what happened to the Weasleys, all those are answered in this movie, and it's so brilliantly done. Um, Gringotts Bank is now back, and we haven't seen Gringotts Bank in a long time. Um, we see characters that, like, for example, Ollivander. We saw him in the first movie and briefly in part one of Deathly Hallows, and, well, that was it. And in this film, Ollivander has such an important role, and I just loved how there was a scene where it's like, you know, that was just like in Sorcerer's Stone, or that was the same feeling I had when... Harry first got the sword of Gryffindor. That's how I felt when Neville Longbottom became more of a heroic character than the comic relief. That's how I felt when, you know, all of those 
if any good good memories you have about Harry Potter are somehow gonna strike you again in this film. It's just that's how brilliantly done this this film was made, and um, the final battle between Harry and Voldemort. What can I say? I mean. I would go so far as to say that that was probably one of the best showdowns I've seen in a film since The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly with Clint Eastwood. I mean, rather than, um, like, for example, Quentin Tarantino said, you know, how can that be beaten? Well, now it has a contender, I guess. Um, you know, with the whole gun on the side of the screen and, you know, they got the um, the hip of the cowboy here. Uh, just the fact that, you know, um, Harry, and, and this is this is shown in the trailer, by the way, so it's really not a spoiler of any kind. When Harry and Voldemort were crawling toward their wands, I had that same impression. I mean, that, that moment in that film was so tense, and I heard like people getting so tense when that scene happened. And there were so many scenes, even outside of that scene, where people just got tense. There were scenes where you got scared. There were scenes where you got sad. There were scenes where you were happy, where you were laughing. Everything a film should do is done in Deathly Hallows Part 2. I mean, movies will make you cry, movies will make you happy, movies will make you laugh, movies will blow you away with their action, movies will do all these things, and Deathly Hallows Part 2 does it. Um, so I guess I'm pretty far in, and I'll try to cover story as briefly as I can so it doesn't ruin it for people. Um, in this second half of the Deathly Hallows story... Um, Harry Potter is, it's the final showdown, um, there's a few Horcruxes left, which are, you know, these valuables that makes, gives Voldemort his power, pretty much, uh, and Voldemort was the lead villain of the story, and, um, pretty much they gotta hunt the rest of them down, and if they can't hunt him down, they gotta beat him in this final showdown at Hogwarts, cause he's about to attack it, and they gotta give him everything that they have to make sure that he's dead, and that everybody can live happily ever after. So that's pretty much the main premise of the film. And even if you didn't like what I just stated there, there's something in this film that I can guarantee everybody will like. Um, yeah, Deathly Hallows Part Two is just one of those movies where, like Iron Man and like um, Forrest Gump and some of my other favorite movies, it just does something for everybody. I mean, even if you don't like drama, or if you don't like um, you know wizardry, so there's something in this film that you are guaranteed to love. Um, I, I, well, I do agree with a lot of the fans when they say, make sure that you see each and every installment before seeing this movie. And I say that because it just gives you so much more respect for this film. They really went back and said, what is the most important things that happened in each and every book? And what is what makes Harry Potter such a brilliant series? And they did everything that they I could ever ask them to do. And they did it in Deathly Hallows Part 2. I mean, we're going to be talking about this movie for so long. I mean, I, I just I just heard on the radio on the box office for its opening day. It's opening day now. It got like over $90 million in the box office. And that, I think, I'm pretty sure that that's in the top 10 for highest grossing box office day ever. Um, so I can only imagine what the future weeks hold for this movie as far as money goes. This film is just going to blow away the $300 million mark. You just know it's going to go get there. Um, so, um, yeah, guys, if you have not seen Deathly Hallows Part 2 yet, check it out immediately. This film is so incredible. Um, and if you love Harry Potter, you just have to see this. This is so brilliantly made. And if you have not seen Harry Potter, give the, give the whole series a chance now because of this film. I mean... I, I, I promise you, even if you don't like one of them, like if you did not like Prisoner of Azkaban or Order of the Phoenix, something in Deathly Hallows Part 2 will make you go back and like those films even more. I mean, this film is just that good. So Deathly Hallows Part 2, huge, two huge thumbs up. Uh, if I had three thumbs, I would give it three huge thumbs up. Uh, this film is just so good, guys. It is... I couldn't have asked for a better conclusion to this outstanding franchise harry potter should go into you know some of the greatest movie series of all time this film is just so well done it's a masterpiece